So we just watched. I, mean, I, can I just, I just did not catch the last part I, of what I, you I said. I didn't hear what you said. So I said either he was or he his intentions were to be, which is creates the same dread for me. We just watched a brief snippet of the video. I know it's clear from the video, but can you tell us physically, where were you? I was on the sidewalk. Okay. Are there any meters around you here? Yes, there's a, where I am, so to my right, there's a grass strip, and then the meters are along the curb. About how many car lengths away would you say, three or four? Uh, no, not, maybe two. Could Mr. Bernard say, reach out and just plug a meter right there? Yes. Good? Yes. I can show you the video again quickly. Subject being talked to, part of the, uh, All right, sorry, sorry, no. part of the, uh, <clears throat> the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of New Hampshire, part of the Constitution of New Hampshire is that Is he plugging any meters? No, he's videotaping me and running with me. That's why I was doing the, the uh, reverse direction. Obviously, it didn't work. About how long did this encounter last? I would say 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes maybe at the most. During that time, were you able to effectively do your job? No, not at all. I'd like to go to another section of the video and have you tell us for the record what it was that you were saying. Tell us for the record what you just said. Wait, I don't understand why she needs to repeat what she just said on the video. The video is an exhibit. Your Honor, if we go up on appeal, we're going to need a clear transcript of what was said. And the audio from the video, my understanding, is not being picked up in the transcription. I think that's a, the, the video itself, though, is, is a full exhibit that would be included as part of, of, of the court record. I, I think, given for, for clarity's sake, though, the objections overruled. You can answer the answer question. question. What was I saying? Can you give me the play it again? Yes, please. If you could state for the record what you said. I asked him to leave me alone and I would, you know, go away on my own and that he was impeding me from doing my job. How'd you finally break free from Mr. Freeman? I object I, to the phrase break free. Sustained. How did this encounter end? I uh, walked to the opposite side of the street via the crosswalk and headed downtown. I was on foot. Did you get any assistance from anybody? I had one young uh, girl that started walking with me. I did not know her, but it was nice. I'm gonna ask you some questions about that section and then we're gonna wrap up this discussion of the video. Did 
Did you hear what she just said? I did not. I could not. I, sorry. If you listen, if you try and listen carefully, I'm going to play it one last time. Okay. That. Something about uh, can you just go along? No, I don't, and I don't remember it. It was so long ago. Where was that woman coming from? She came from uh, across the street in the same, but the same area. Did you get the sense that she was purposely interjecting herself? Wait, uh, objection. No. Speculation. I'll draw the question. Based on your observation, what was she doing? I believe she was just going along with her day and she walked into that go happening. Why do you think she stepped between you and Mr. Freeman? Objection. Sustained. Sustained. Has the public ever gotten involved in these encounters before? And yes. So to wrap up this discussion of the video, are you able to do your job when this type of encounter occurs? No. Based on your observations, does it upset the public? Wait, uh, objection. How does she know where? Sustained. Does it make you feel like you're being harassed? Uh, yes, absolutely. Is this exchange representative of the types of problems you have with what's been described as Robin Hooding? Correct. Let's talk about your day to day. Can you tell me what your schedule is currently? The hours? Mm -hmm. I work 7.30. To 3.30. And what days do you work? Uh, Monday through Friday. Are you still being followed? Uh, as of the last few weeks, I have not seen anyone, but before that, yes. During the period of the last two years, from October 2013 through today, were you being followed during that period? Yes. About how often, would you say? I would say three to four days a week. And who's following you around? Uh, Garrett Ian. Has it reduced since the Supreme Court's order came out this spring? It hasn't been as many people, or all day, but it's been the same. Do people other than Mr. Ian follow you around? Occasionally he has others with him that are unknown to me. I'm sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Occasionally he has others with him, but they're unknown to me. I don't know who they are. So, so not one of the other respondents <coughs> in this case? Correct. Not. And then if you could try and speak up when you answer okay. the questions, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, how about since the court scheduled this hearing in the middle of the summer? So I'm talking August, September. Has it reduced even more? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it has. Do you think that's purposeful? <laughs> Object sustained. sustained. Speculation. Sustained. I mean, she can say what, what she did, but she can't characterize what the motivation might be. That might be an inference you'd like the court to draw off from things, but, but for her to, to speculate, she can describe what she's personally, personally observed. Understood, Your Honor. Do you still get told to quit? Pardon me? Do you, in the prior evidentiary hearings, we heard testimony that you were frequently told to quit your job. Yes. Words to that effect. That yes. That still happens. Yes. Graham Colson is one of the named respondents in this case. Uh, is he still following you around? No. Do you know why not? I'm not clear. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What? What? I, I, think, I think she said she didn't know. But I don't understand the question. I was simply asking her if she knows why he's not following her around. I think there, 
but if I'm correct, you're going to answer that. No, is there is there an objection to that to to just that well, the, the, the scope the, of the, that the, question? The concern I have, is in as much as she has some like admissible response, <laughs> that's one thing. But I, again, I'm concerned that the question seems to be calling upon her to speculate. Your Honor, this line of questioning is about what Lynn is experiencing on the streets. But that's not, no, that was not what was being asked her. The question was, why has Mr. Colson stopped following you? That has nothing to do with what she's experiencing on the streets. She might very well have an answer based on what she's experienced on the streets. But, Your Honor, this is, um, we heard her answer, so I can move on. Uh, I'm going to hand you a document, which I'd like to mark as an exhibit. Absolutely. And you can freely approach, as both counsel can. There's Thank no you. need to ask for further requests to do that. Is this being marked as an exhibit? Yes. All right, so they would exhibit two? It's just for identification at this point. Yeah. Lynn, could you look that over briefly? You can just flip through it. Not familiar. Can you identify what that is? This is, a, a, as it says at the top, a officer time gap report. That we record um, are any differences in time that we have other than a normal um, day, like any big breaks in time. Is this a report that you produce? Yes. So this is your report? At the end of each day, right? What does this report, let me rephrase that. There's a number of entries. It's a, it looks like a list of entries. What are these entries? On the left-hand side? That's correct. Um, they're the ticket numbers, the times, and where, the, the location. So could you describe... The violation. Could you describe what the purpose of this report is? What it does it do? It, it tracks the minutes and time between the tickets that I've done, what time I did them and where. So we're looking at, I'm looking at what's labeled page one of three, March 24th. It's the first page. Just so that we fully understand, as I read down, I see numbers in the third column, 21, 18, 2, 3. What are those numbers indicating? Minutes between tickets issued. And on the right-hand side, there's a handwritten note that's been circled. Is that your handwriting? It, that is my handwriting. And could you read what that note says? It says G Ian plus female pink hair 1115 in an arrow. So tell us what does that mean to you? That means that's the f time of the day that I encountered the two that I just named, and the arrow indicates that it went on until I left for the day. And why, why do you make that notation? In order to, uh, for our supervisors to see that we, what we were, what was happening during those times, if there's a big discrepancy in our ticket, uh, minutes between tickets. Can you explain that a little further? What do you mean by a big discrepancy? Well, if, if, if I just keep walking around and it's been, you know, 20 or 30 or more minutes between tickets, I have to justify that's the whole reason for this report. So are, are you saying that the dis when you make that notation, it's because there's a disruption that's stopping you from ticketing? That's exactly what I'm saying, yes. You testified earlier and at the prior hearings that these activities are a regular part of your day-to-day. -day. So, if you would, 
and so that we have a clear record. I'd like you to flip through here. There's about, I think, a little over 20 pages. And at each notation, if you could read what you wrote and the date. Everything or just the circle? Let, let me her. let me ask: Is there any objection to this being marked as as a full exhibit? I, 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 well, I well I no, except for the fact of the following: the claim, as I understand it, is that just dealing with the first date of March twenty fourth, is that that during those time frames after eleven fifteen, um, the number of tickets were being reduced. Um, but we don't know that because they only provide us with the first page of this report. So no idea um, how many tickets she, um, it, I assume that, it, that the day the report has a listing of all the, or somewhere there's city has a listing of all the tickets that she's done for that day. And to make this report, to make this exhibit complete, that information should be included. I mean, if the city's really going to claim that there was a reduction in the number of tickets that she reduced after 1115, whatever the legal relevance of that may be, then at the least there should be a the document, documents to support that should be provided. Uh, but getting back to the court's earlier point, I would certainly agree that rather than having her read everything on this exhibit, on this set of exhibits, um, which I think is redundant, I have no problem with this being introduced as an exhibit. It, and it does, it, and I'll just say to, to the latter point, uh, it, it appears, I know it's handwriting, but it's, it seems pretty clear what, what's being intended by, by, by the, the markings. And, and if you want to have her generally describe that 11 with the arrow, what that indicates and, and what she's, and I don't know that she needs to go through every single entry, but let me ask, uh, is this being offered to, to for the purpose of of suggesting that there was, uh, at least in part, that there was that there were fewer tickets that that were written up during that time period. So it sounds like Attorney uh, Deedle is shaking his head. It doesn't sound like that's the purpose for which this is being offered. I think it, if it's being offered to to demonstrate or to to show that the activity was going on on those dates in during that, that time period, that's, that's a different purpose. Uh, well, if that's yeah. the only purpose for which it's being offered, then uh, what, what does it matter that there are maybe other pages that, that document uh, you know, the ticket activity after that time of day? Well, Jan, I, I would agree with that, but, but Attorney Deedle just went through with this witness what's the purpose of that entry, and she talked about how it was in explaining that, I mean, Again, unless if they're not going to argue um, that they're raising this in regard to affecting the number of tickets being entered, then I don't object. But, but that was the whole line of questioning. I, I, I thought that I might be wrong, but I thought the witness was just describing the purpose of the document yes. to to uh, to why why this report is prepared, and then. And then that explains why this why this document is even generated to begin with. But then uh, her notations to describe the activity that was taking place that day. I, I don't know if it was. Am I correct that that's the purpose that it was being offered for? Your Honor, that's that's roughly correct. Um, this document shows that this is a regular recurring event that's causing a significant amount of disruption. Well, but the, the regular recurring event part of it, I don't have any issue with. It's the significant disruption part of it that I'm concerned about. This first document says it's page one of three. So I'd like to see pages two and three. Well, Your Honor, this is exactly why I'd ask that his objection be overruled, is that we're here today to discuss things like frequency and what's the disruption and what's the magnitude of the impact on things like their ability to do their job. This is a line of questioning that came up at oral argument at the Supreme Court of what's it like to have somebody following you around every day? And so I think it's important that we have a clear record of what's going on. 
this is frequent, and I think the record should show that. Right. I, I think the, the objection is to the characterization of it as disruption. I think, I think that, that you can have, if you want to use a document to, to help the witness, orient the witness to, to activity taking place on a specific dates and to have her describe the activity, that's one thing. I think that, I may be wrong, but it sounds like the objection is to the